Hello grade 3. Hope you are all fine. Our lesson today is about multiplying by 100. How we can multiply by 100? Let us make a quick review. Do you still remember when we were working on multiplying by 10? How we were multiplying by 10? In order to multiply a number by 10, we keep the number as it is and we put 0 next to it. So we get the answer. For example, 4 times 10 equals 40. You all know it, 4 times 10 equals 40. As you see, we keep the number which is 4 and we put 0 to the right of this number, we get 40. So 4 times 10 equals 40. What if we are multiplying by 100? What we will do? Let us do an example. For example, 4 times 100. How to do this number? Similarly, as multiplying by 10, we put the number and we put 0 next to it. Similarly, for multiplying by 100, the number is 4. We put 4. And because we are multiplying by 100, we have two zeros. We bring these two zeros and we put them to the right of this number. We get 400. So 4 times 100 equals 400. Let us do another example. 42, for example, times 100. What is the number here? It's not only 4 and not only 2. It is 40. Two. We bring 42 and we put it here and we are multiplying by 100. We have two zeros. We bring them and we put them to the right of this number. So we get 4,200. 4,200. Let us come back to the activity in your book. We have here 60 equals 6 times what? 6 times 10 gives me 60. 350 equals 35 times 10. 100 equals 10. The 10 goes, still 1, 0, gives me 10. 10 times 10. 35 times 100 equals 35 times 10 we said the 100 is 10 times 10 so we put 10 35 times 10 we put them together in a bracket we still have 10 we put it down 35 times 10 how to multiply by 10 we put the number which is 35 and because it's times 10 we put 0 next to it we get 350 that we still have this 10, we put it down, 350 times 10, what is the number here, 350, we put it all, 350, I am multiplying by 10, so I put 0 next to the number, I get 3500, so what can we conclude, when we multiply by 100, we put the number as it is, which is 35, and we put to the right of this number, two zeros, we get the answer 3,500. We should concentrate on this note. In order to multiply a number by 100, we keep the same number and we put two zeros to the right of this number to get the answer. Okay? Now, you should by yourself work on number one, page 108, which is multiplying by 100. Be careful. It doesn't matter if we put the, one, the 100 first or the number first. Yani here, for example, 100 times 56 is the same as 56 times 100. So you, the number is 56. You put 56 and you put two zeros next to it, you get the answer. Okay? It doesn't matter if the number is first or the hundred is first it's, it is the same concentrate on this question solve it by yourself and then check your answers